Hip and Leg Anatomy 101. To start off, we have everyone's favorite muscle, the glute max. It is going to externally rotate and extend the hip. This is the TFL muscle that turns into the IT band. It is right where your pocket is, and it's going to abduct the hip and internally rotate. Here we have the three hamstring muscles. We have the semi-tendinosis. Underneath it is a semi-membranosis, and then we have the biceps femoris. They are going to flex the knee and extend the hip. These are the quadriceps muscles. There's only three painted here, the rectus femoris, the vastus lateralis, and the vastus medialis. The rectus femoris is a hip flexor, and all the quads are going to extend the knee. The sartorius wraps around from the outside of the hip to the inside of the knee. It's going to externally rotate the leg, and it's going to help with hip flexion. Here we have the patella, also known as the kneecap. Then we have the tibia, that's your shin bone. We have the tibialis anterior, and then we have, what is that? Fibularis longus. Then, you know what the f the tibialis anterior is going to dorsiflex the foot. The fibularis longus is going to evert the foot. By the way, in, yeah. And it's also gonna help with plantar flexion, pulling it down. Here we have the two gastrocnemius heads. Underneath those, we have a muscle called the soleus. Now the gastrocnemius is the one that crosses over the knee, and it is going to help you with plantar flexion when your knee is straight, prim primary mover. Then if you were to sit down, do like a seated, Calf raise, the soleus is going to be the primary mover when the knee is bent. We decided to cut the hamstrings and the calves because when you squat down, those two are gonna meet and the paint will transfer. So we cut them there. So yes, they do cross the knee. Both the hamstrings and the calves will cross over the knee and they will both help you with knee flexion. 